Brett Lee, winner of 29 of 37 starts and seven track records. Four Group 1 victories, prize money in excess of $400,000. There is no doubt Brett Lee will go down into the annals of Australian greyhound racing folklore as possibly the greatest of them all. Rated the fastest ever greyhound to grace Australian racetracks, Brett Lee was bred to be a champion. By Gunlarosti, a son of the great brother Fox, and out of the new tears bitch Sobbing Sal, who won 16 races and just under $70,000 in prize money. This line is the blue bloods of the industry. Brett Lee was always going to be a superstar of the racetrack. At his second start, Brett Lee broke the Horsham 480 metre track record. In fact, Brett Lee won his first six out of seven race starts with an average winning margin of over eight lengths. Brett Lee absolutely flying on the corner about eight or ten in front over Pedal Power, followed by Star Bright Charm and Max Gossip making up ground, followed by Chantel Miss, but it's all Brett Lee. Brett Lee against the clock goes down to win by 12 lengths. Pedal at his eighth start, tragedy struck. Brett Lee was injured at the Meadows. Racing. Brett Lee a little bit slowed up again and is worse than midfield, settling away fast. Angel Dust goes to lead. Brett Lee is checked and goes to the tail of the field out of the straight and Angel Dust to lead. But like all champions, Brett Lee came back to rewrite the record books. Five months later, Brett Lee ran a world record winning the Group 1 Adelaide Cup, running a mind-blowing 28-88. Racing in the Cup. Brett Lee began magnificently and he's going to go to the front, the favourite from Classic Capri who drove through to second or oh, Big Bother was likely excuse into the back, it's Brett Lee like, uh, going to second now was Classic Capri they're five in front of Renzo Bale, no intent then came Dutchie's Angel, 10 away to Brandon Bale, Sue Ellen Bale, forget about likely excuse, but Brett Lee, he's on the bunny, he led six over Classic Capri, then Renzo Bale into the straight, it's all Brett Lee, we might be looking at a champion here ladies and gentlemen, Brett Lee won it in 28.87. Classic that win started his domination of the Australian feature race calendar. Brett Lee went on to win three more Group 1 races in as many months. Brett Lee's next assignment was the Australian Cup at the Meadows, which he won by a mere seven lengths. They're racing and Brett Lee began like a firecracker near the outside and goes across and takes the lead. Brett Lee two and a half to three to go while Teddy third. Dutchie's Angel out of the straight going after the tailor's flood form but going down the back straight and Brett Lee is a cricket pitch in front about six lengths clear. Go while Teddy followed by Dutchie's Angel in Big Smig. Well back in the race came True King followed for the back by flood form and then came Shirt and Pound Karoma five but Brett Lee one of the greatest turns for home with an enormous advantage and Brett Lee wins the Australian Cup very easily indeed, about eight lengths. Go this on. win had Brett Lee's competitors in awe of him and virtually conceding to his invincibility. And that is an absolute freak, Brett Lee, and uh, best dog won the race. Yeah. It's almost like you, you need a last leader to bring him back to you. Like all the trainers after the race, when we went inside, we were all talking about it. Like, um, he's sort of, it's Brett Lee out in front, and we're all sort of behind. It's sort of six lengths to the next best dog in Australia. It's, right. it's unbelievable. What are your thoughts about Brett Lee? He's just another level up on, on most of the dogs around. He's, he's just, he's awesome, you know, and um, I just can't wait till Miss Tantine comes on season. <laughs> so she's she's going to go to him. He's in a world of his own, you know, like you mentioned, the last who, he just breaks their hearts with that early blistering speed, you know, and he's just an exceptional, exceptional dog. I may have to try and avoid him wherever I can, you know. He's just an amazing dog. And when they say he's the best in the world, I think I believe it. He's from another planet, isn't he? He's just dropped out of space, that dog, Brett Lee. I've got to congratulate Darren. He's just a marvellous dog. I'd say he'd be the best dog I've ever seen, ever race, yeah. Certainly a big statement. That's what a lot of people are saying. Look, I, I always put Highly Blessed uh, right up on the top of my list, you know, and nothing against her, but Brett Lee is just so much better. Three weeks later, the Brett Lee juggernaut rolled on, adding the maturity to his trophy cabinet. They're racing, and Brett Lee exploded away from the outside. He's going to die straight across to the inside and lead. In second placing out of the straight is Draco Star, and going to the back, and Brett Lee, three or four, Draco Star, five lengths away then. Proven Gold, though, are followed by True King. Well, back then came Big Ernie Earls, followed by Galliano, Golden Tattoo, and well played the tail, Brett Lee, the leader. Four lengths in front of Draco Star off the back, and they were followed by Proven Gold. Into the straight, and Brett Lee is clear over Draco Star. 26 starts, 22 wins over 200,000. And Brett Lee wins the majority. Second but Brett Star. Lee's toughest test was yet to come. 
trainer Darren McDonald trekked to Wentworth Park in Sydney to tackle the $100,000 Golden Easter Egg. And so did the crowds. Brettley's popularity and cult status had drawn one of the biggest crowds in the track's history. And they were there to see one dog. Racing, Brettley exploded out of the eight alley. He charged over Brettley and leads by two at the first corner. Mr Gibson second, followed by Sue Ellen Barland, Creative Whiskey. Moving up behind those was Banner Park, Trip and Go. And back at the tail of the field, Flood Fawn and Winsome Dollars down the back. And Brettley is four lengths in front. Mr Gibson second on the outside, Sue Ellen Barland, Creative Whiskey, Banner Park and Trip and Go. But history is being made. Brettley's charging away with a golden Easter egg. Big win! Brett Lee by six lengths. Creative West. The huge crowd on hand wasn't disappointed as Brett Lee demoralised his opposition. Most thought this would be his swan song. But before his retirement, Brett Lee took out the time honoured Warrnambool Classic at Group 2 level. They're up. And Brett Lee's only fairly away, but he's starting to hit pace now as Thunderlight leads him early. But Brett Lee's about to whistle by. Over on the outside, then we've got Speed of Light. Uh, very wide in the track, then came Vitalik. They've broken right away then uh, from Flashy Tuscadera. Ken Kenya's well back uh, with the second to last faithful angel flying well to last. But up the straight, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a chair. Here he goes, Brett Lee. And let's see what he's run. 25.01. And he's scored by 10 lengths over Vitalik. Brett Lee's place in history is assured. 29 wins from only 37 starts. Seven track records. Wins at 10 different tracks in four different states. Brett Lee possesses the two main attributes to be a champion sire. Performance and pedigree.